Let's kiss some more. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Stick around, ladies and gentlemen. Because we done knocked out. Shrimp Creole. Time to get you a pot. Heat it up. All right, so we're going to lower this to a very low heat because the first thing we will throw in here is butter and we do not want it to burn. Now off to the left here, I'm also heating up about eight cups of water. And I'm going to put that on a lower heat as well because I don't want it to get so hot that I start evaporating my water. Now, over to my prepping area. What's up, Hazel? <laughs> we got the good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna get crack a lacking. So first up, we got the star of the show. Two pounds of fresh shrimp from the Gulf. I've peeled these shrimp and saved the peelings, which I'm gonna use for a stock. Now, don't worry if you don't have the peelings of your shrimp. You can still do everything I'm doing here and get great flavor. It's just these shells here are gonna bring about a more rich flavor. Now, as far as my vegetables go, I've got one bunch of green onion, two sticks of celery, two yellow onions, one red bell pepper, one green bell pepper, and four cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna take these shells, the bottoms of this green onion, the ends of the celery, and the ends of my onions here, and throw that into the pot of water. And there you go. Let's go for a swim. First up, the shrimp shells, which will have some juices in there too from when I peeled them. You get all of them? I'll scoop that in. And now our vegetables. There we go. I'm also gonna throw in a bay leaf. Go ahead and blend that in. Just get that in there real good. Now normally when making a stock like this, you would add some flavor to this water, like some Cajun seasoning, some salt, garlic powder, pepper, what have you. Um, I'm just gonna make the, the natural broth here of shrimp shells and vegetable. Uh, and I know what you're thinking, my goodness, that's not gonna be very appetizing, but let me tell you, it will be because I will be adding this good aromatic flavorful water here to my pot here which will have seasoning in it so stay tuned okay so we're gonna go ahead and raise our fire up here we want to get that to a boil and once we see it boiling we will cover it and then lower to simmer all right we boiling so we cover this up lower to a simmering heat and we're gonna let that cook for one hour all right, we have put our shrimp back in the refrigerator and we're gonna get chopping on these vegetables. And my goodness, this is gonna call for a lot of paya, but we got this. Choo! Paya! If you believe it, you will achieve it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, over to our hot pot. We're gonna melt two sticks of butter. Come on now. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it to you, but uh, you need to get yourself melted. So as that's melting, you can go ahead and raise your heat to about a medium level here. It'll melt a little quicker and then it'll really get our vegetables cooking when we drop them in. Once the butter is melted, drop in your vegetables. Woo. And as always, scoop that in. All right, so it's very important to get these vegetables cooked down to a very soft texture. So we're gonna cook them down for a total of about 50 minutes to an hour. Uh, first we'll go about 30 minutes and then we'll add a little bit of flour and we'll go a little longer from there. So at this point, we keep stirring. So the timer went off for my shrimp stock here and whoo boy, 
It has been simmering quite a while here and it looks great. Let's go ahead and give it another final stir. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks really good and it smells like just good fresh shrimp. Man, it smells really good. All right, so we're gonna turn the heat off on this. No, turn that off there. Boom. And then uh, I'll cover it back up and strain it in a little bit. Okay, so we've been sauteing this down for a good 30 minutes now. And as you can see, the vegetables have gotten very soft. We are going to cook it down some more. But at this point, we will add one third cup of flour. I've pushed the vegetables to one side so I can kind of get the flour right here in with the butter. Like that. And we're just going to blend that in there with the butter. And so it gets real smooth. And then as we're seeing it smooth out, we will just kind of spread it with everything. There we go, like that. And then just go ahead and blend it all in. And we're basically making a roux within the vegetables here. And that's gonna help bring some consistency to our sauce. So just to let you guys know, we are cooking this down for probably another 20 minutes here. And then from there, we will add in some more ingredients. So. Just keep cooking it down. All right, real quick, we're gonna go ahead and strain our stock. There we go. All right, this has been cooking down for 20 minutes. It's looking beautiful, it's changed colors. The vegetables are super soft. Next, we will add a 10 ounce can of Rotel tomatoes. And I go with the original which gives it a little spice. Go ahead and blend that in. We're gonna cook this down for another five minutes. All right, we've been cooking this down here. So next up is a 28 ounce can of crushed tomato. Ooh, good Lord, be careful, that stuff splash everywhere. Oh, there we go. Good thing I got on a red shirt. All right, we blend that in. All right, once that has blended in, we're going to add in two cups of our shrimp stock. Blend that in. All right, now that we've got that blended in, we're gonna add some seasoning. One tablespoon of sugar, which will help reduce the acidity of the tomato. One fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. One tablespoon of parsley flakes. One tablespoon of your favorite Cajun or Creole seasoning. One half teaspoon of salt for a little more flavor without giving it the extra spice. Let's go ahead and blend that in. All right, so we're gonna raise the heat on this. Bring it to a slight boil here. So we'll get it high heat. And look, it's a thick mixture, so you gotta be careful. When you see it slightly boiling, that's when you know it's good because if you wait too long, it'll start popping off everywhere. All right, once you see some slight bubbling, you cover it up, lower to a simmering heat, and we're gonna let this cook for one hour and 20 minutes, stirring every five. All right, guys, so when you do it this way, you will have some stock left over, but that's okay. We're gonna use this to cook our rice. Oh. I'm gonna add four cups of the stock and two cups of rice. I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of salt just to give it flavor, and then from here, we'll get it heated. All right, we got a rolling boil, so we cover that up. We lower that to a simmering heat, and we let it cook for 25 minutes. So when your rice is finished, you want to let it sit off on the side for at least five minutes covered before you uh, take a peek at it. And that's just what I'm doing. So we got about 20 minutes left of cooking here. And man, this is coming out great. I've been coming back and stirring this once every five minutes. I know that's tedious, but like I said, you can hear it. It will stick to the bottom. I've also taken the liberty of taking the shrimp out the refrigerator at this point because, uh, you know, I don't want them dropping in too cold. So we're going to keep doing our thing here for the next 20 minutes and we'll be ready to finish it off with these shrimp. 
Just want to show you guys my rice. Whoo, look at that. Perfect every time. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's good rice right there, ladies and gentlemen. You fluff that up, and it's good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our 20 minutes is up. So let's give this one final stir. You hear that? That's why it's good to continue to break up the bottom there because if it just sat there for the entire time, you have a layer that would be completely stuck to the bottom of your pot. All right. After breaking up the bottom here, we will go ahead and add our shrimp, fresh shrimp. There we go. And then we will stir those in. There we go. All right. So we're going to let this continue to simmer down for another 10, 15 minutes. I know that may seem like a long time for shrimp for some of you guys, but we're keeping this on a simmering heat. And we're just going to come back every five until we see them done, and then it'll be ready to serve. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh man, look at that shrimp. Yes indeed. Well that is a wrap ladies and gentlemen. It's time to plate up. Let's go. Oh man. Let me tell you, this stuff smells so good. <sighs> I'm excited to eat this. This is something that many of you have asked for for a long time. You know, I just kind of kept it on the back burner for a while until I finally was like, all right, I need to knock this out. And uh, my mouth is watering. So uh, let's go ahead and take a bite. Now look, you know, some of you guys are gonna have your way of doing this. I mean, some people might not wanna add flour, you know, uh, you might want more tomato, you may put tomato sauce. Do your thing, I will always say that. You do you. Y'all could change this up however you like. You know, uh, this, this works for me, I, I, like, I like the consistency of it and we're about to find out how good it is. Look at that, oh, <laughs> here we go. Mm. Oh man. Ooh. That has some classic shrimp creole flavor to it. You know, um if you've ever had shrimp creole in your life, this will definitely bring back the nostalgia of the last time you had it. At least to me, I think so. You know, the good flavor of tomato has cooked down and it's just it's just smooth in there. It's not super acidity, you know. A super acidity? Is that what you think? Super acidic, you know. The, you know, when it's cooked down like that, you know, the, you know, the, the, the acid from the tomatoes, you know, has kind of cooked out, you know. So it's not overly powerful. It's not going to give you this extreme bite, you know. But um, the flavor of that tomato cooked in with all the other seasonings is just beautiful. And then you've got the great tone of that shrimp stock you know, mixed in there. So you've got this like fresh shrimp flavor in there. And you know, it, it adds just the right amount of spice to me. I know all we got is one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, but the Cajun seasoning has spice. The Rotel has spice. You could probably add a little more, but this is a good start. You know, it's, it's not overly spicy, at least in my opinion. I know I have a high tolerance, but this tastes really good to me. So I think many of you guys will enjoy it as well. Mmm, man, ah, oh, so good. The rice is cooked perfectly, and my shrimp have the perfect bite to it. This may be too perfect. <laughs> all right, all right, I get it. Perfect doesn't exist, but hey, we've, we've strived for it pretty good, you know? 
I can't even talk tonight. I'm so starving right now. Like literally it's like midnight right now. I started this so late. So it's like, it's like 12 something right now. And I'm just like, I just want to eat this. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Man, that is good. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we done knocked one out again. Shrimp Creole, please give this a try. I really think you'll enjoy it. It, it, it just has just this all around colorful blend of flavors that a shrimp Creole dish should have. You know, it, it's, it's really good. I'm, I'm really liking this one. Um, look, if you like the shirt, cook like a pro, Paya! You can find it on Teespring, you know, head to teespring.com and look up the Cajun Ninja or Cajun Ninja products and you can find uh, my shirts on there. So just thought I'd let you guys know because many people ask. I'm still working on getting my hats out, so just calm down, stay tuned. <laughs> but uh, other than that, guys, I got nothing else for you. Thank you so much for tuning in, even though it's late at my house and uh, I am just slipping all over my words here. I'm going to just crush this. That's all I can say. I'm starving. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Paya! Now, first thing first, you gotta change your mind. Yeah. Get your mind off the drama, keep your money on your mind. Get a shovel, uh -huh. get a hoe, uh -huh. bury them dollars with some milk or grow. Oh. It ain't that hard, it's easy to see. Who do you and I do me? Don't look to the future, can't change the past. Just focus right now and trouble won't last. HDTV don't mean that much to me. Cause I got higher definition in my reality. What's up?